Developing confident, impactful video presentations has nothing to do with what most people in this online business people are telling you to do. And I want you to understand some of these upcoming points I'm going to make right here in this video that might even piss you off, but definitely are going to change your way of seeing this. And at the end, I will give you an opportunity to actually scroll further and understand how you can build your skills in an excellent, masterful way that gives you what you deserve to have in one month with five minutes a day worth of exercise. So here, let's get into the problems. The first problem is a lot of people are telling you just do these scripts and these templates and here's this copy-paste material and you can just read into a teleprompter app or you can try to memorize your script. That stuff isn't going to cut it. That stuff will never cut it because it's designed to be strategic and formulaic and it sounds manipulative and it's going to end up rendering you among the thousands and thousands of people in that ocean of droners out there. If you do that stuff, you do it at your own peril. It's not going to make you great, and it's certainly not going to raise you above everybody else. Okay, number two. Lots of people out there are telling you, it's simple, you just press record and then be authentic. Most people's authenticity is actually pretty boring. And it's through no fault of your own. You can admit it. You're boring too. Right, I get it. I've seen this stuff. It's not a problem. It's not a big sin. It's actually highly curable. The one big issue is that most people who say be authentic have no idea how to teach you how to make authenticity actually be compelling, what I refer to as authenticity plus. <laughs> you want to make sure that you understand that there's a difference. But Paul, I'm perfectly fine. Oh yeah? You're probably delusional, but then again, I've never met you and... You know, maybe maybe you are like all that in a bag of chips, but most people's authenticity isn't enough and they have to learn something far bigger. That's where presentation skills blend or at least border on that world of performative understanding so that you can lift everything to a level of compelling, with effect, with impact, and with a certain sense of unscripted honesty and a strong moral compass. Infusing your materials with passion takes an understanding of how to infuse your materials with passion. So, good. Topple that notion of just being authentic. Okay, let's take a look at another one. <clears throat> if I say affirmations and attaboys on a regular basis, I'm going to develop my confidence and that's going to lead me to be able to, you know, bring it. No, it doesn't work that way. Just because you think you can ride a bike when you're little and then you get on a bike for the first time and you realize, oh, there's actually skills involved. And I have to learn how to balance, and I have to learn how to steer, and I have to learn how to coordinate my pedals, and I have to learn how to, you know, put all of that stuff together so that it's well integrated, so then I'm not being, you know, held up by dad or mom, but in fact I can do it on my own. You develop your confidence by actually developing a strong understanding of the principles the structure and the practice that leads to your fine presentation, at which point you gradually look back and say, wow, I've gotten pretty good. And all of that is your confidence that has been growing and welling up within you as you have gotten good at this. 
So it's not confidence first. It's actually practice. Proper practice. Okay, let's take a look at something else. <clears throat> if you develop bad habits, you are going to ingrain your bad habits. And then, in order to get good habits, you have to unlearn your bad habits and tear them down in order to build up the new good habits. So it takes longer. Is it doable? Of course. It's doable whether or not you're starting with good habits or whether or not you're now realizing that you've been doing it wrong and you have to break down those old bad habits. I'm just saying you come with an open mind and you understand that the principles of good work have everything to do with getting rid of all of the bad habits and building true good habits. Now here's another thing. When you actually look at most of the programs that are, I don't know, online video, you can repeat and follow after all sorts of other people. <clears throat> but if you're trying to do it on your own without accountability, without regular check-ins with somebody, you are not going to actually get answers to what are my sticking points? What is actually getting in the way? And here's the reason. When you have direct contact with someone who knows how to investigate, ask the right questions, and then parse your answers so that you can see what needs to be worked on, you will actually be clear on how to move forward. And the difference is because you, on the inside of your work, you have a subjective approach to seeing what you do. And you need someone on the outside who is an objective outside observer of your work to be able to point out the things that you need to actually focus on. So doing it on your own with some, you know, standalone video online program or some YouTube thing that just kind of, you know, that won't cut it. For some people it might, but for most people, I mean, I've only been doing this since 1987. What do I know? So here's another thing. Looking good on camera. Having these people who have been, I don't know, you know, working in a newsroom or doing commercials and all they know is how to make you look nice with the right clothing and the right makeup, that's not going to make you into an excellent presenter. You don't need to look extraordinarily glamorous and beautifully perfect with all of the magic lighting, especially with high tech and a fancy expensive crew, that won't matter when what you're saying doesn't bring it. The content is everything. So, looking good is less important than actually bringing earth-shattering value from passionate beliefs where you stand in your truth and fearlessly say what needs to be said. Okay, so what is this program that I'm offering? Five minutes a day for one month will get you where you need to go as long as you couple it with one-on-one -on -one laser Zoom calls and direct accountability check-ins that make sure all of your issues and questions are answered so that you can focus on a daily series of exercises that are structured well and incrementally build all of the skills in the right ways. My work introduces you in the beginning to the foundational principles after which you develop your understanding of your own presentational abilities and skills 
and then you learn to structure everything, and then you learn to present that structured everything with all of the outlines that give you all the advantages to being able to bring it. And I wrap it up with all of the extras that you deserve to know, the behind the scenes ways of seeing all of the special materials that you can fold into your presentations. This is the magic of what I refer to as live editing. Unscripted, no editors involved, and I guess I should let you know this. Why low tech? Because technology now is so convenient and easy. You don't have to have high class expensive lighting and you don't need a fancy camera and you don't need a fancy microphone. You just need to be able to understand how to harness your unique truth and bring it big like gangbusters. When you do this, there isn't any video editing guru in the world that's going to be able to fix your live streams live in real time, or your podcast interviews in real time, or your summits where you give your teachable skills in a lecture or a master class in real time. You ought to be able to understand how to couple everything you can bring to bear with your understanding of your truth, without all of that scripted, templated bullshit, so that you can just press go, walk out there, and shine. And your confidence will stack in line with your skills as you practice. When this makes sense, I want you in there. I want you to join my crew. If this doesn't make sense to you, why are you even still watching? <laughs> but when this makes sense, you're ready. Five minutes a day for 30 days, and you will have presentational mastery beyond anything that you have ever even thought you could get. Is that a promise? Yeah. Because I will work my ass off to see that you get there. I look forward to having you join me. Scroll this page. Click the link and join. Look at the client testimonials at the bottom. And let's get you going. Speak soon. Go get them. Yar.